Matty McGuire, 5'10", 220, 52 years old. Picks up every Wednesday and Friday at exactly 8'12", makes $110 a day, carries a Sig 9, and is about to get robbed. It takes a real professional to rob a bank successfully. And again, you need a little bit of luck too. We're fucked if we see a helicopter, we're fucked if we see SWAT. We see a cruiser, stop, take out the engine blocks, keep moving, no one needs to get hurt. They plan it out, they're going with big weapons, fully masked, they're really meticulous about DNA, hairs, fibers, bleach, gloves, and they are trained and hardened. Oh, fucking the There's different types, of course, but each one's a little unique. They have a code, they don't want to hurt anybody, but they're no joke. The first robbery is based on a real, I remember that, because Harvard Square is in Cambridge, that's where we grew up. There was a real Harvard Square bank robbery, and that robbery, two of the robbers were shot. There's gonna be a lot of people in the audience saying, oh yeah, I remember that. You didn't stop, you know what I mean? So you're like, your hands out of your pocket. Get your hands out of your pocket! But, you know, pop, 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 boom. We're all wearing these terrifying Skeletor masks. These masks that were in the first robbery were literally taken from an FBI image. We went into the FBI the first time we were touring and they had a big blow up of a security camera image. It was this skeleton mask and a kind of tracksuit guy. And it was really eerie, kind of creepy, scary looking. The guy had like an assault rifle, kind of machine gun, and he was wearing that. And so we basically copied that almost exactly as well as we could. Rock, 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 rock. Nowadays, it seems like a lot of bank robbers have a drug problem. So they've not taken the care to protect their identity or hide anything. They just want the money so they can support their habits. But this particular movie, those were the bank robbers that were serious bank robbers. And they did take a great length to hide their identities. They're the real deal guys. There's a really fundamental difference between guys who are nickel and dime bank robbers and guys who are basically professionals. When's your time lock set for? Nine o'clock. Don't lie to us. It's 8.15. Listen, it's not your money. You understand? Mm -hmm. Don't lie to us again. The robberies themselves are very authentic and I actually brought one of the uh, former supervisors from the bank robbery squad who's also retired onto the set and he felt like it was deja vu when he was standing there. You don't want to make an overblown story that's full of holes that the guys in Charlestown watching are going to say, that's not really how it happened. It's very convincing in what it is. 